for David Hutchinson, Detective Superintendent. Okay. Yeah, look, uh, thanks very much for coming again. Um, uh, the, the development overnight has been the, the location of um, Novi's vehicle, uh, located in Bowden Court in Narang. The um, vehicle was located last night after a member of the public um, saw the vehicle after seeing it on the news and she's contacted the police. Uh, the focus of the investigation is still to try to locate Novi and um, we would now ask that any member of the public who has seen the vehicle, the 2009 um, Volvo wagon, um, midnight blue in colour, parked in um, that street overnight, um, well in fact parked in that street since last Wednesday night to come forward and contact the police. Uh, in particular we're interested in anybody who might have seen people associated with that vehicle at the time it was left there. Do you believe it's been there since last Wednesday night? Uh, well it, it's, it's hard for us to say that at this stage. All we know is that it was last seen uh, last Wednesday night and it was recovered last night. So um, we need to obviously narrow down the, the time that the vehicle was left there and, um, and we're, we're hoping that some member of the public can, can not, not only say they saw the vehicle there, but maybe say um, they saw somebody parking the vehicle or leaving the vehicle. Anything what? found inside the vehicle that might arise suspicions or anything, anything of interest found inside the car? Uh, look, the, the vehicle is still being examined. It's uh, a forensic examination is a, is, a, is a slow process. Obviously, we can't rush those things. So the vehicle is still at the, um, at the vehicle examination bay being um, slowly and methodically uh, examined. Where was there anything to the naked eye, though, that led to your attention about the car? No. Where are you at with the um, investigation into the house? Is there anything being found at the house that's suspicious? Uh, well, the, the you know I don't want to talk about operational issues, obviously, but the uh, but the the examination is of the house is continuing. Uh, we expect we will have the house for probably a number of days. Is um have you spoken to Mr. Chardon again today? Uh, we haven't spoken to him uh, personally today, but we but we have access to him and he is available to speak to us whenever we wish. Is it any clearer when he'll be back? Uh, we don't have a date at this stage. Are you searching any other areas at all? Any any other areas in that in that Narang area or in Upper Coomera? Well, at this stage, the the focus of the exam of the investigation around the vehicle is in that area, and we, we're doing door knocks, obviously, in the area, and we're expanding that search out to try to uh, locate anybody that can shed any light on the vehicle being left there. Have you have you um, asked Mr. Chardon to come back sooner rather than later? Oh uh, well, we're having discussions with Mr. Chardon on a. Uh, and you know he does remain available to us. I, I don't intend to go into detail in the conversation we're having with him, but uh, he is available to us if we need him. There and have been a number of sightings of people looking similar to Novi. Um, any of those led to anything? Uh, no. Look, we have had a, a very good response um, from the public, and uh, we've had lots of calls coming in through from Crime Stoppers. Um, but at this stage, we've had no concrete um, sightings of her. We have a number that we are we are. Um, investigating at the moment. We have detectives out there now chasing them up, but um, but we don't have a concrete sighting at this point. So no indication that she may have left the area on a train at all? Uh, we have no information to that effect at this stage. Do, do your concerns about her welfare remain the same as they were yesterday, or have they deepened? Or? Oh, look, I, I think it's fair to say that the, the longer this lasts, the more concerned we become. So. You know, it, it won't be very long now that it'll be a full week and, um, and she hasn't made contact with family or friends, so obviously we're very concerned for her welfare. Has she used her phone at all or are you able to say whether she's used any of her items, yeah, or credit cards? Or? Uh, well, that's one of the avenues of investigation we follow routinely, so. In the, you have said that in the past she has gone off for a day or so. How does this length of time compare with that? Is this dramatically longer than the past? Well, the information we have is that she has in the past gone away for, for, for two or three days. This is obviously longer than two or three days. She hasn't gone away for the periods um, um, of, of this uh, length um, in recent times, so that's obviously a concern to us. So, Dad, can we just get you pointing a bit more to the cameras, if that's okay? We just lost your angle there. Mr. Chardon told media outlets last yesterday that he, that he didn't seem too concerned, that, that he you know, believed that you know, just gone off and basically urging her to come home. Do you mean, what are your thoughts on that? Well, you know, I can't speculate on what Mr. Chardon says, but um, but obviously, uh, you know, we, we want the same thing. If, uh, if she's out there, we want her to come home. And uh, if um, if she's not capable of doing that, we, we want to try to identify where she is and we want to uh, try to work out what her movements have been since last Wednesday night. So, um, again, we would make that appeal to the public. The photographs of... of uh, Novi and the vehicle have been released 
Um, we would like anybody that has any information about uh, Novi's whereabouts or her movements since last Wednesday night to come forward to the police. Or, as I say, anybody who has information about the vehicle being left in Bowden Court in Narang any time since last Wednesday night to come forward. Has anything from the been car, has there been any other breakthrough? Uh, the location of the vehicle is the most significant um, breakthrough since uh, the investigation commenced. Uh, there's, there's a lot of other inquiries being run out, but, uh, but locating the vehicle was, uh, was an advantage to us. Is there no other personal item um, In the vehicle? Yeah, well, in the vehicle, anything of significance no. or, or nearby? No, no. And you're not looking for any other people at this stage? You've got no descriptions or about any other people or cars or anything to provide at this stage? No, we, we have nothing else at this stage. Uh, you know, keep in mind, with these sort of investigations, this, these first few days are really the most important. It's where we gather as much information as possible. Um, it's it's um, in, in imperative that we try to identify her movements over the last periods and the movements of, of all the people that are known to her. So this, um, these first few days are, are concentrating on capturing as much information as possible and trying to locate her. Has there been any fresh light shed on what may have happened in the house before uh, Mrs Chardon left? Uh, no. The public might think it's odd that um, Mr Chardon hasn't come home. Is the police sort of given him any ultimatum or request to expedite his travel back home? Or now, now, as I say, we, we, we have access to Mr Chardon uh, if, we, if we wish to speak to him and, uh, and, and that, that will happen from time to time and in due course. So. Are you reviewing CCTV footage at the station and around that street there? Uh, identifying and locating and reviewing CCTV footage is a normal part of, uh, of criminal investigation, so we will be accessing as much CCTV as we can. But so far no image of Mrs Chardon? Uh, well, well, those inquiries are still continuing at this stage.